Financial markets are running on tidal power. Hello and welcome to today's Daily Blitz. Bro, as you sound like you had a good hog manet. Yes, but, uh, but we're back at the office now. Despite my return to sobriety, the Daily Blitz will continue. And in today's video, we'll be highlighting an interesting uh, correlation we found over the last three years and something that might be slightly more predictive for 2020. So Nikolai, you brought some interesting charts and some interesting headlines from previous years that you think might, uh, might give us a clue as to what's going to happen later this year. Yeah, so I was reading out headlines this morning and one I came across, which was really quite surprising, it should be on your screen now, is shows that all major asset classes experienced returns above their 10-year average in 2019, which is remarkable. But what's even more remarkable is what one of my colleagues sitting next to me pointed out, and that's that I'd said something very similar in previous years. So as you can see on your screen now in 2017, the headline was 2017, the year in which every type of asset gained in value. And in 2018, it was the opposite. Quote, nothing worked for investors, nearly every major asset class in the red for 2018. Now, we should stress just how peculiar that really is, because, because of course, you wouldn't really imagine everything to go up when you invest in something. I mean, the reason people uh, pick different investments, the reason they go for bonds, different sectors, uh, different types of assets, uh, all manner of hedging strategies is all based on the premise that not everything goes up and not everything goes down at the same time. Uh, and so it's really quite peculiar for in 2017, everything to go up, 2018, almost everything to go down, and then 20, 2019, for everything to go back up again. It's not meant to be some kind of binary decision whether or not asset prices go up or down. And that's why diversification is something that is uh, so often uh, referred to by uh, asset managers, IFAs, uh, and all manner of investors in general simply because, well, it's not meant to happen this way. Not everything is meant to go up at the same time and down in tandem. Now, Nikolai, you've, uh, you've come up with a quite simple reason as to why this is suddenly occurring over the last three years. Yeah, so if the, the price of everything is going up at the same time or going down at the same time, perhaps what's really changing is the value of what you're measuring it in, the value of money. So the obvious place to go is to check central bank balance sheets because that's the supply of the money. And sure enough, the chart you can see on your screen now shows exactly what you would expect. So as you can see on the chart, in 2017, uh, the major central banks of the world printed money effectively to buy assets. And this injected new money into the financial system. However, they did the complete opposite in 2018, where they cut their, their balance sheet effectively. They reduced their balance sheet quite steeply. And they even went negative by the end of the year. However, in 2019, they're printing money again to buy assets once more. And that would support this argument that effectively major central banks and their balance sheets are, are what is driving asset markets up and down. They are a tide that is raising uh, the price of things and reducing when it's, uh, when it's being drawn out. So Warren Buffett has the, uh, the famous uh, quote that uh, it's only when the tide goes out that you realize who has been swimming naked, which in the investment markets generally means whoever has been, uh, whoever has been destroying capital, who's ever been malinvesting, you know, giving money to poor projects. But it seems in 2020 that the balance sheets of central banks going up would mean that uh, that really doesn't matter. Everyone can swim naked effectively and asset prices should carry on going up. That's right. So 2020 is an excellent year to go skinny dipping in financial markets.